Well, this is Alaska, our big backyard, and it's a uh, real-time uh, wild Alaska, my big backyard. Right now we have two. She's got the fur on the back of her neck. Yeah. Oops, she's getting ready. Here's her back. Yikes. We have two cow moose and three calves. Honey, I'm in the backyard working. That's scary. I'll say. Right in the deck. Watch this. Rump shot. Ooh. Punch in the butt. We'll take a little fur. So one of the females. Who's matter? Has two calves and one has one. There's one. There's the one little one. Total of five. There's two more out there somewhere. We had a total of five moose here. Couldn't get all of them in in one shot. I'm still inside the house. You can see the curtains. I mean, that was slow motion, but boy, they were moving fast. Yeah, I could play it. I, I could play it in real time, but uh, you don't really get a sense for the drama. Pulling weeds in the rock gardens drama. Now, that's not her calf, the one that's lagging behind. That's the one she's been trying to run off. Poor little things got cut off from his mom. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think that's, I think that's the other moose's calf. That calf on the right. Yeah, the one she's trying to run off. Here she comes. She doesn't like it. Is she going to chase it off? I would have thought they'd be more tolerant. You know, in the winter, you see them uh, herd up sometimes in the hay flats out by Palmer. But uh, I guess it's too close to being a newborn. <laughs> you feel bad for that little moose. Poor little guy. Gal. Cow. Calf. She doesn't like that little one. That's not hers. That's the one. That one's not hers. Yeah, she, she's pretty persistent in running it off. I wonder if it was trying to nurse, or I don't. Now I haven't seen the other cow moose. Well, she's still in the neighborhood. She's probably next door. Maybe it was trying to nurse. Since the first encounter, I haven't. I haven't seen her. You can tell that's that calf there is hers. Giving it a little early lesson in survival. Just gave it a little lick. She says that's mine. Last night, the cow with two calves was here in the yard. And uh, usually they'll stay around for a few days. And this one here just showed up, the one with the one calf. Here she goes again. They didn't like... She's not done. They didn't like occupying the same ground. Wow. She's crazy. Yikes. So, you know, we spend a lot of time in the yard. I mean, that's that's our uh, rock. I just, you know, what if what if we were outside working in the working in the garden, mowing the lawn, or just sitting in the chair? Well, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, that fur on the back side that you see falling off is. Or she's going to stay on the right side of the. Still uh, her winter coat. Red flaggy. Yeah, yeah, she understands that. She should be on the left. Stop your arguing. I'm trying to keep the cars from driving down there. Huh? Yeah. The cars are on, on the, the left. Grass. I guess it's okay for the moose. Moose can be on the right. Cars on the left. No. Yeah. See, she's not done. I mean, we spend all this time outside in the yard. Can you imagine? I mean, they're running from the front yard to the backyard to the backyard to the front yard. Where would where would you go? And and heck, you would they'd be upon you in in a moment, a blink of an eye. All of a sudden, they're there. Yeah, again, the thought of being out there in the yard, working in the yard, and having this going on. Now they're in the backyard. Now you're making me redundant. She's still mad. Yep, backyard. Now we're going to go, there, there's a gnome. Now we're going to go over by the play set. I'm going to refinish that yeah. play set this year. Our little girl used to play there, be outside playing in the play set. Imagine this stuff going on. Yeah, with all her neighborhood friends over. <laughs> of course, if they were screaming and yelling, the moose probably wouldn't be showing up, right? If you got a bunch of little kids out there playing, you could hope. Back and forth. Really agitated. Yeah, she is. What year did we put that place set up? But they move so fast for being so big. I don't know, that female like that, what, maybe 1,200 pounds? Boy, they move. No, she's looking at me. No, she's looking at me. I'm inside the, inside the house. Yeah, of course you are. We all are. There's a window. There. Yeah, now we see the window. We can almost see my reflection in there. Nope, it's me. Or is it your reflection? Nope, it's me. No, well, she's off again. I think she'd just run it off once and leave it. Boom, disappears. Boom, look at that, she disappears. Boom, double boom. And the little one's gone too. It's always been amazing. They could get like 10 feet back in the woods and that huge 
1,500 pound animal just disappears. Well, it's what makes it so scary, actually. It's like they're upon you in a moment, and you can be vigilant, but. They look like the bark of a tree. Yeah, 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 I agree. They do. Absolutely. Here's the little one running around. You could see. You could see how these things, if you get between them, that you're... So much for relaxing. You're uh, in bad shape. Wouldn't take much to get between them the way they're running around. Read in the paper about that fella down in oh, Homer yeah. last week or so. He got he got killed by a mama moose. He got a little too close. It was in his yard. Photographing. It was in his backyard in she Homer. charged him, him and his buddy. And uh, the buddy got away. He got killed. Stomped to death. I'm still inside right now when this is being shot. I bet that's 20 years old. Over by the play set again. You know, bring your kids over. There you can see I just shot. It was the window frame that passed by. What's that reflection in the window? Even though there's a lot of green, the brown still just blends right in with everything. The trunk of a spruce. It's a soccer ball. I like the color of bark. Owls blend in like that. But not birch. Bark. That's the other thing. Can't figure out how they camouflage so well. Even in the winter, they get in the woods and they're, you know, they disappear, vanish from sight. She must hear. She must hear it. It's beeping. Look at her ears. I mean, she's going right where her ears are pointed. She's got to hear yeah. it. It's like she's stalking she's it. Still, she's certainly persistent. Wants it eliminated. Oh yeah. I, I and I don't. I don't quite understand. I really don't. I, I don't. Uh, it's what I d don't know. Well, here's the little one now. And you can hear there's a lot of background noise. There, you can hear the little one. That's what mom's hearing, I bet. Yeah. There it is. Calling for its mother, only I don't believe that's its mother. No, I don't, it's not. I believe the mother got run off with the other one. There, we haven't seen the mother since she got run right, off. There were a total of five moose, three calves, two cows. But one cow had two calves. They got split up. So that's three, two calves, three calves, and two cows. I think this that's five. his mother crying out for her, trying to find Five her. moose. And she has nothing to do with him. Uh-oh. Now, the last thing we want is this thing coming up to our deck. 